President, I would like to thank Under Secretary General Rosemary Di Carlo for her briefing today. This is the second time we are meeting this month on the DPRK. India condemns the recent ICBM launch by the DPRK. This follows other ballistic missile launches in the preceding months, following which the Security Council had met. These launches constitute a violation of the resolutions of the Security Council relating to the DPRK. They affect the peace and security of the region and beyond. India calls for full implementation of the relevant UN Security Council relations relating to the DPRK. We would also like to reiterate once again the importance of addressing the proliferation of nuclear and missile technologies related to the DPRK. Proliferation of nuclear and missile technologies is a matter of concern as they have an adverse impact on peace and security in the region, including in India. We hope that the international community and the Security Council can be united on this front. We reiterate our continued support, Mr. President, for denuclearization towards peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. Mr. President, ensuring peace and security in the Korean Peninsula is in our collective interest. Going forward, we will continue to support dialogue and diplomacy as the means to resolve the issues in the peninsula.